the weekend sign there, as well as the skies repping some BT colors outside of Young Dundas Square. Heads all blue. Uh, new problems in the subway. Well, not new problems, but because of yesterday, the residual problems we had yesterday from uh, the big shutdown for seven hours, uh, we have uh, slower than normal. Now, these, these are shots from yesterday. I was going to say. That's no, not live. These are shots from yesterday. But we have slower than normal uh, wait times and train uh, travel times between Dundas West Station all the way over to Young because the trains are be given the go slow order right now as a precaution once you get past Dundas West Station. So if you are going back on the Bloor Danforth line this morning, be patient. It's going to be a little longer than normal, but they're doing it for safety's sake uh, this morning. And if you're just tuning in, is anybody asking why your nails are painted? People keep, yeah, because uh, people who are tuning in are just noticing the uh, the nails. The manicure, they're all all of our all men. All the guys, all the BT are guys. Are wearing an awesome hot pink. I'm wearing watermelon. Is that what I'm wearing? That's, yeah, that's a watermelon shade. I'm very proud of you. It is October 1st, Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and so the, uh, uh, we had our, our fingers done pink. Today. Yeah, which is very nice, which means you have to leave it on until the end of the month. Yeah. <laughs> uh, really? Yeah. Whoa, what, what? Yeah, so he just agreed to that. Just like the study you're about to read, sometimes you agree to things, Ken. You agree to things. How you many got to read the fine print. How many of you, when you download a new app, you know, download a new uh, program or app or something like that. You just click automatically. You just, it says, do you, here, are the, here are the terms of service, do you agree? And you always just click agree. Agree, 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 agree. Well, apparently a London security firm tried something out. They set up a Wi-Fi hotspot free for anyone. And as you know, when you go to a Wi-Fi hotspot, most times you have to agree to terms and conditions. To terms and conditions. Hidden within the terms of service for this was something they called the Herod Clause, stating the user could only enjoy the Wi-Fi if they gave up their first unborn child. Really? In just 90 minutes, six, six people signed immediately without re reading the terms. But you know what's unfair? It was buried in the terms. So the, uh, the first few clauses that come up appeared to be the regular I don't cut even know. and paste do you terms ever even, and conditions. Do you ever even read the first clauses? I, I didn't never even do. know how to accept these things for apps until recently when I've been experimenting with the iPhone. I didn't even have an app, nor did I know about all well, these not, things. It's not just apps. It's anytime you get a computer program, even on Windows operating systems, even when you get your new operating system, you always have to agree to the terms of service. And I, you know what? It, it doesn't matter whether it was buried in the bottom. I bet you they could have put that the, the very top. first line, and I bet you nobody, nobody would have would have. So this is a lesson it. learned that we've perhaps gone too far the other way, where we trust corporations to continue status quo when it comes to these things we rely on every day with technology, and they proved their point with this. Yeah. Yeah. So you have so to read, read those carefully. terms of service. Now they are not going to enforce. Yes, they are. They are going to <laughs> enforce, and they will take your firstborn should they choose to. Yeah. You accept it. But we, you know, you never know what's actually in those terms of service. Yeah. Just this morning, I got an alert saying, are you okay with, I forget what it was, reading or accessing apps? And then it said that there was like a, a problem, like a problem, no, what, what's uh, what do they happened? call that, like a suspicious... Do you, I said no. I don't know if that was what, right. What's happened is there's new legislation in Canada about about sending out, especially anything that, that sends you out alerts and spam and things like that. Okay. You may have signed up. For like, let's say you shop, to you. you shop at Bill's grocery store, and you signed up for for offers from Bill's grocery store, and they're emailing you. Well, now they have to get your permission once again officially. So a lot of you are getting emails saying, "Do you still want us to send you this Winston's information?" Winston saying no. Winston saying no. I think what you were talking about was your phone sometimes asks you if oh, okay. if they yeah. want if you want to let it access to your information or your camera yeah, or your microphone. Said. And it said something yeah. about suspicious okay. or something. But that Kevin means is you also right. No. The 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 the, the anti-spam law. Also. Yeah, yes, yeah. I, I know what you're talking about. You're talking whenever you get it, whenever you get a new app. Let's say your app yes. is going to be. Let's say you download the Starbucks app or the Uber and, app, and, which and, is what Alex did for me. Okay, so if you download the Uber app, it needs access to your location, and you have yeah. to give it permission for that. If you don't give it permission, it can't tell you what 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 cabs are near you. Oh, I said no, so that means it, it won't work. It'll, I'm paranoid. Yeah. See, anytime you use the app, it'll ask you again. Okay, I'll oh, just so, keep hitting no. She's not getting it. <laughs> you gotta hit yes, or Uber's not coming. <laughs> you have to wait an Uber long time. We'll be back anyway, in just a moment. Shout out to Uber. Apparently, it works. When you let us in. <laughs>